In order to control notifiable medical conditions, or NMCs, quick, effective, and accurate communication is essential. NMCs are those diseases that are important to public health because they pose significant risks that can result in disease outbreaks or epidemics, with high fatality rates both nationally and internationally. The only way we can control the spread of infectious diseases within our population is by identifying people with a disease and implementing the necessary public health actions to ensure that it is not spread to others. International health regulations require every country to have efficient and robust surveillance of NMCs. In addition, the South African National Health Act also makes it a legal obligation to report, assess, notify, verify any and every instance of NMCs and to implement timely interventions. There are four categories of notifiable diseases and each category has its own reporting requirements. Category one, these must be reported immediately using the most rapid means upon clinical or laboratory diagnosis, followed by a written or electronic notification within 24 hours of diagnosis. Category two, these must be reported through a written or electronic notification within seven days of clinical or laboratory diagnosis, but preferably as soon as possible following diagnosis. Category three, these must be reported weekly by all public and private laboratories. Category four, these must be reported monthly by private and public health laboratories. Real-time efficient surveillance and reporting of NMCs provides an early warning signal and provides a window of opportunity to interrupt the disease transmission cycle. And the National Institute for Communicable Diseases has been given the responsibility of implementing and managing a new strengthened surveillance system for NMCs on behalf of the National Department of Health. In this video, we will be showing exactly how to download and use the app and we urge you to do so as soon as you can, so that you can be part of our fight against NMCs and so that you can contribute towards protecting the health of all of us. To download the app to your phone, on the user panel, select your browser and then open it. Then choose a search engine, for example, Google. To search for the NICD website, type NICD website in the search box where you see the magnifying glass symbol. Then click on the magnifying glass. This will take you to the NICD homepage where you must then select NMC. On the drop down menu, scroll to the bottom and select notifiable medical conditions then click on the electronic app. Next, click on the NMC app for Android. This message will then appear. Click on Save. Your device will then show you a security message blocking the installation. You will need to go to Settings to allow it. In Settings, find Security and switch that setting to allow installation of apps from other sources, to on or yes. Once you have given permission in your settings, you can allow installation by clicking OK. Do not exit while the app is still installing. You will see this screen, but do not open it yet. Simply exit and go back to your phone's user panel where the NMC app icon should now appear. Now you should open the app. You will now see this welcome screen. Click on register. On the form that appears, you will need to fill in your personal details in the correct fields. Once you have finished, accept the terms and conditions and then click on request. Please note that your email address will become your username. When you see this screen, if you are happy that all your details are correct, click on continue. Then log out to complete your registration and wait for a temporary password to be emailed to you. 
and sure that your email address is correct. When you next sign in, do so with your email address as your username and the temporary password that you've received by email. When you log in for the first time, you will be prompted to change your password. Simply follow the instructions to do so. Once you have logged in, you will see this landing page with these options. If you click on Inbox, you will see these tab options. Current Inbox is for cases not older than two weeks. Archived Inbox is for cases older than two weeks. Cases in red font is for category one cases. Cases in black font is for category two, three, and four cases. Use the search tab to search for cases according to patient name, surname, ID, or passport number, medical condition, facility, province, or case classification. If you choose new case on the landing page, you will see this screen. However, before you capture a case, it is advisable that you first search for the case to see if it already exists. Remember, you can search for cases according to patient name, surname, ID, passport number, medical condition, health facility, province, or case classification. Click on search for existing cases to do this. If the case does not exist, then click start to capture this new case. You will now see this facility screen. Select your facility name, complete the contact number, the patient file or folder number, the date of notification, which by default will be today's date. Click the right arrow to continue. Under patient demographics, you write in the first name, that is the name that was given to the patient at birth and which everybody calls him or her. For example, if the patient is called Lerato Motswaledi, then next to first name, you would write Lerato, and next to the surname, you write Motswaledi. Next to where it says SAID number, carefully write in the patient's ID number as it appears in his or her ID book. If the patient is not a South African citizen, then write in his or her passport number or any other ID number that he or she may have. Where it says citizenship, write in the country where the patient is a citizen. This will be South African for most patients, but for those who come from other countries, you will need to write in the name of the country. For date of birth, you fill in the year first, then the month, then the day. Where it says age, write in how old the patient is in years, for example, 46. Then fill in the patient's country, province, and street address, which has two lines if you need them. Finally, complete the postal code. Click the right arrow to continue. You will then come to this screen, NMC case. Here you will fill in the NMC that you have diagnosed, the contact history, your method of diagnosis, and the symptoms and the treatment. Then fill in the date of diagnosis and underneath it, the date of onset of symptoms. Click the right arrow to go to the next page. You will now see this vaccination history screen. Fill in the details applicable to the patient. Click on the down arrow, then find out if the patient has been vaccinated or not. If not, select not vaccinated. 
If the vaccination is up to date, then select that option. And if you or the patient do not know if he or she has been vaccinated, then select unknown. If you know the date of vaccination, then select the correct date using the calendar icon. Next on this page, under specimen details, simply select yes or no. Then fill in the date, if you know it, using the calendar icon. Click Save. You will now see this screen, patient travel history. It is important for us to know if the patient has traveled anywhere away from his or her own home in the last 60 days. So under travel history in the last 60 days, select yes or no. If you know where the patient traveled to, or in some cases from, then select the place where it says country or province, where it asks for locality or town. For example, if the patient lives in Newcastle KZN, then complete that in here. Then using the calendar icon, select the date when the patient left their normal place of residence next to date of exit. Where it says date of entry, select that using the calendar icon. Click Save. You will now see this screen, Employer or Educational Institution Address. Here you will need to fill in the name of the institution, that is, the place where the patient works, then select the country from the drop-down menu and the province in the same way. Then fill in the city or town, suburb, and street address, postal code, and a contact number for the employer. Click Save. You will now see this screen, medical condition detail continued. Use the drop-down menu to select whether the patient has been admitted or not, what the ward name is, and the patient's vital status. If the patient is deceased, use the calendar icon to select the date of death. Now you will see this screen and you can choose to view or edit a case. This screen offers you the same options as the landing page. If you click view edit case, you will see these tab options. Current is for cases not older than two weeks and archived is for cases older than two weeks. Cases in red font are for category one cases Cases in black font are category two, three, and four cases. Use search to search for the case according to patient name, surname, ID or passport number, medical condition, facility, province, and case classification. If you want to edit a case, click on view. This will allow you to edit facility details, patient details, NMC details, vaccination history, or specimen details. When you edit, the NICD will update the case classification status. It is important to remember that lab results cannot be edited. Once you've completed your editing, click Save. Always remember, once you have finished using the app, that you need to log out by clicking on the log out icon. You can also access this app on your computer. It works in exactly the same way, but has the added advantage that allows you to print forms or view reports. Once you've completed capturing your case and click save, the information will be automatically sent to all the people who need to know about the case.